we have a question on moments here. You can see we've got a wrench being used to turn a nut. We've got a distance between the nut and where a force of 28 newtons is being applied. That distance is 15 centimeters, and we're asked to calculate the moment. So for this, we go to our formula sheet, and we know that moment is force times distance. What we have to spot here, though, is that our distance is measured in centimeters, so we must first convert that into meters. Then we can substitute that into our equation, and that gives us an answer of 4.2. And our unit for moments, we simply combine the units that we've got. So we've got a newton times by a meter, which gives us a newton meter. So just two changes that could be made to increase the size of the moment. Well, we can use our formula here to help us because the moment is the product of the force and of the distance. So if we were to increase either of those, that would in also increase the moment. So we could increase the force or we could increase the distance. Now that could be by using a longer wrench or something like that, or just moving it further from the nut. Now we're shown the wrench moving through 90 degrees, and we're asked to calculate the distance that this force of 28 newtons is being applied over. So the force is this dotted path that we're shown here. They've told us the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times by the radius, and we're being asked to calculate the distance in centimetres. So now we need to leave our, our radius in centimetres. So the first thing we do here is say, okay, well, our circumference is then 2 times pi times that radius of 15, which gives us a circumference of 94.2 centimetres. But we are told that it is equal to a quarter of the circumference of a circle. So we don't have a distance of 94.2. Instead, we have a quarter of that. So 94.2 divided by 4, and that gives an answer of 24 centimetres. Now we're asked to calculate the work done by the force as the wrench is turned through this distance. So we go to our formula sheet and we find the formula that says, well, work is force times distance. The force that we've got being applied is that 28 newtons, moving through a distance of 24 centimetres. But now when we're doing our formula for work, we must convert that into metres. So that is 0.24 metres. And that gives us a value of 6.7. So 6.7 joules as the work done in moving the wrench through that distance of 24 centimetres.